The last of our views now to be created for the CRUD functionality is our edit recipe. So I'm going to go ahead here and I am going to create an edit recipe.html in our recipes template directory. I am going to copy out the add recipe because this one's going to be pretty much the same. So I'll just rename everything for edit. Okay, so I'm going to go into the views.py. I'm going to import a new generic, which is our update view. So again, very similar to the delete view, you know, we're passing it back via the URL. It knows um, exactly which one it is then. And we need to do the same checks that we did to ensure only the authorized users can edit it. So we'll call this one edit recipe. We'll pass in our login required mix in, our user passes test mix in. We will pass in our update view, remembering to do them in the correct order. We're going to provide this one with a template name. And that will be equal to our recipes and our edit recipe.html. Next up, we will provide it with the model. And again, that will be our recipe model. We'll provide it with our success URL. And we want that to go back to the recipes. And we're going to then just copy out the test function as it's the exact same check that we're doing on this one. Almost forgot here, we actually need to provide our form class, very similar to the create view. Uh, without specifying our form, it won't know what form to provide. Now we're going to go ahead and create our new URL pattern. So we'll bring in our edit recipe class. We'll create a new path and this one is going to be edit forward slash. We need to provide our slug with our primary key so that it knows which one we're looking for. We'll bring in our edit recipe as view. And finally, we will give it a name edit recipe. Oh, there is one last thing we need to do. We need to go back to the recipe detail and again we just need to update the href. So that URL is going to be our edit recipe and we'll pass in the recipe.id. So we'll go ahead and fire up our run server. Now switch it over. We're going to need to create a new recipe for this. So I will recreate our banana waffles. So we'll give it some ingredients of bananas. It's that time of night, I just can't spell anymore. <laughs> Pre-made waffles and some syrup. Instructions are chopped bananas. Throw over waffles and We will go ahead and find our banana waffle image. It's a breakfast and we went for European and 600 calories. So our create is definitely working. We'll hit the edit button here and we are provided with our edit form. So we'll make an update, hit our edit, 
and when we go back in we should be able to see our update so this concludes our CRUD functionality for the recipe side of this so next up we're going to hook up our search bar so that we're able to go and search for recipes 